Consider grade inflation. Professors would enjoy most an outcome in which grades serve as unbiased and accurate signals of student achievement. But to stick to such a grading scheme might be harmful to a particular professor if other professors are adopting less stringent grading strategies. In a defensive move, then, each professor adopts the less stringent scheme and all professors and the students and the university are worse off when great inflation ensues. We see similar suboptimal outcomes in scenarios like pollution reduction among developing countries and nuclear disarmament. What makes these scenarios interesting to study from a game theoretic standpoint is that the agents in these contests have opposing but symmetric incentives which lead them to consistently act in their own self-interest rather than to cooperate to obtain an outcome that is better for everyone. In 1984, social scientist Robert Axelrod asked what kinds of behaviors would consistently result in better cooperative outcomes. Axelrod determined that the most robust strategy that resulted in cooperation was a strategy he named tit for tat. Persons playing the tit for tat strategy always start off by cooperating in the very first round of the game, and they continue to cooperate until their opponent acts in a non-cooperative way. At that point, the person employing the tit for tat strategy punishes their competitor by also acting non-cooperatively in the very next round and continues to do so in later rounds until their opponent returns to the cooperative path. By simply mimicking their opponent's choices, actors who utilize the tit-for-tat strategy are able to consistently end the game with the most rewards. Specifically, the strategy is clear and easy for all to understand. It is nice in that it always starts by cooperating and never defects first from cooperation. And it is forgiving in that it prescribes cooperation immediately after one's opponent returns to cooperating. As a Christian, what is interesting but perhaps not surprising is that cooperative outcomes in these settings are easiest to obtain if people behave in ways that are clear and honest, nice or gracious, and immediately forgiving, which are all, of course, biblical mandates.